Hey everybody, welcome back to another practice. Today we are going to be focusing on our core and tapping into kind of the awareness of what that means um, for yoga. So in yoga, we don't talk about our core as much as we talk about the solar plexus or the um, third chakra, our Manipura chakra. So what that holds is our, it's a fire chakra um, and it, it, it's very important in terms of um, self-esteem, confidence, our feelings of self-worth. Um, it can also be a center for our anxiety. So when we activate it, we're kind of building up that fire, but if you're feeling any like blockages there, certain releases, um, back bends and things like that can help kind of free up that blockage so that you can make those um, progressions towards feeling your best, feeling happy and content with where you are in your life, feeling like you're enough. So while you're practicing today, while you're like gritting your teeth and being like, oh my God, why is she making me do this? Um, just remember <laughs> that after you're gonna feel so good. <laughs> so we are gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna start in child's pose today. So come on down to your mat, um, bring your big toes to touch, knees can be wide. Fingertips spread wide and then press your hips back onto your heels. Spread your fingertips wide. Allow your head to rest on the mat. And start to lengthen your inhales and your exhales. As you inhale, widen the back of your body, feeling the breath really widen your rib cage and the back side of your back. And then as you exhale, collapse that down and pull your belly button up towards your spine, kind of start to waking up, up that core. If setting an intention is part of your practice, take this moment here to set your intention for your practice today. And then take a one big inhale in, fill up your lungs, and then open your mouth, sigh it out. And then on your next inhale, curl your back, kind of come up onto hands and knees, top tabletop position, stack your shoulders right over your wrists, hips right over your knees, and then start to work into a cat cow. So inhale, drop your belly, lift your gaze, and then exhale, round your spine, press your shoulder blades away, feel that belly button pulling up towards your spine. Inhale, arch your back. Exhale, round. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. On your next inhale, come to a neutral spine, <coughs> excuse me, send your right foot back, tuck your toes straight behind you, trying to do so without lifting your, your hip, keep your hips level to the floor, and then reach your left arm up, framing that bicep with your ear, pull that low belly up and in, and then lift your right leg up off the floor without dumping into that lower back. Hold here. Long line of energy from your fingertips to your heels. Take an 
inhale, maybe stretch a little bit longer, fingertip to heel. And then exhale, pull your knee to elbow, round your spine. Inhale, stretch it out long. Exhale, knee to elbow, round that spine. One more time, inhale, stretch it out long. Exhale, knee to elbow. This time, inhale, stretch it out long. And then exhale, just hold it here. Point your toe on that right foot. Again, check in, make sure you're rolling that right hip down towards the floor. And then you're gonna take an inhale, reach back, right, left hand, just tap your toe on your right foot. And then exhale, stretch it back long. Inhale, reach back, just tap your foot, gaze up. Exhale, back out straight long, keep that leg long. One more time, inhale, reach back, tap your foot. And then exhale, left arm out long, right leg out long. One more hold here, one breath. And then set your left hand down and your right knee comes right underneath you. Inhale, your left leg straight behind you, keeping those toes tucked. Make sure you didn't lift your hip to do that. And then when you're ready, reach that right arm out and long. Right by your ear, low belly pulling in. And then as you're ready, keeping everything super parallel to the ground, lift that left leg up. Flexing your foot, rolling that um, hip and toes down towards the floor. Long line of energy from your heel to your fingertips. Take an inhale, maybe stretch a little bit longer. Inhale, and then exhale, pull your knee in, elbow and knee touch underneath, round your spine. Inhale, stretch it out. Exhale, round your spine, knee to elbow. One more time, inhale. Exhale, knee to elbow. This time, inhale. Exhale, hold it here. Next, inhale. Reach that right arm back, tap your right left toe. And exhale, bring it back to your, your bird dog here. Inhale, reach back, tap your toe. Exhale, reach it long. One more time, inhale, tap. Exhale, reach it long. One more round of breath here, inhale. Exhale, right hand down and left knee down. Sit back, back into child's pose for a moment. Get off those wrists for just a second. And then roll your spine back up. Spread your fingertips wide, tuck your toes, send your hips up and high for downward facing dog. First down dog of the day. Maybe you're pedaling out your feet. Maybe you're wiggling your hips side to side. Getting out any motions that need to happen for your body before you really start warming it up and getting into your practice. And then find some stillness in your down dog. Make sure your shoulder blades are wrapping around your ribs. Wrap those inner creases of your elbows towards the front of your space. Allow your head to be heavy. You should be able to freely shake your head no, and then nod your head yes. Inhale, shift forward to plank, top of a push up. Hold a nice strong plank here. Squeeze your ankles together, thighs together. Low belly, of course, pulling up and in. Take an inhale here, and then exhale, press back down, facing dog. Feel your low belly pull in, your low ribs pull in as you press back. Inhale forward to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale forward to plank. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come up on your tippy toes, look between your palms, and then very slowly, keeping your knees as straight as you can, tiptoe yourself to the front of your mat. Once you get there, allow your knees to bend. Allow your chest to rest on your thighs. Allow your head to be heavy. Maybe you grab opposite elbows in your hands and, sh and hang in ragdoll pose. But a generous bend in your knees here. Maybe you're swaying side to side. Or maybe you just hang right in center. Drop your hands down to the earth. And then rooting down through your feet, start to roll yourself all the way up to standing. One vertebrae at a time. Once you come up, roll those shoulder blades down your back. Palms face forward, mountain pose. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Take your right wrist with your left index finger and thumb. And inhale, breathing over towards the left, opening up that right side body. Breathing into the right side of your lungs. And then inhale, come up to center. Take your left wrist with your right forefinger and thumb and exhale over towards the left. Inhale it back to center. Exhale your hands down behind your back. Clasp your fingers. Try to keep your palms touching here. Roll your shoulders down your back. If you can straighten your arms, do so. But keep your lower ribs and your abdominals tight. And then just think of pulling your knuckles straight down to the floor. Maybe you gaze up at the sky. But we haven't done a whole lot of back form up yet. So don't do anything too crazy here. And then coming out of that back bend first. Release your hands. Inhale, sweep your hands up overhead. Exhale, swan dive over the legs, forward fold. Generous bend in your legs, but maybe a little straighter than they were before. Inhale, lift your gaze, lift your back. Lengthen your spine, halfway lift. And then exhale, forward fold. Plant your palms, step back to a plank. Lower all the way down to the floor, to your belly. Untuck your toes, hands under shoulders. Inhale, baby cobra. Keeping those elbows in, pressing up, maybe just to the bottom rib, and then exhale down to the mat. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more time, inhale up, and then stay here for a little bit, and then try to see, pressing the tops of your toes, all 10 toes down into the mat, lift your hands, using your back to hold you up. And then exhale down. Inhale, up over your knees, tuck your toes, send your hips high, back to downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg rises. Keep your hips square here. Again, all five toes pointing straight to the floor. You're not lifting that right hip up. You're keeping, keeping it in line with your left. Take an inhale here. Maybe point your toe. Inhale, rise that leg up as high as you can. Exhale, shift forward to plank, bring your knee to your nose. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, right knee to right tricep. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, right knee to left tricep. Inhale, right leg rises, three-legged dog. Exhale, 
pull forward. Hold that knee into your chest. Hold it here for a moment. Press the floor away and pull that knee into your chest as much as you can. Make it as tight compression as you can. And then when you're ready, step the foot between your palms. Lower your left knee down, untuck your toes. Inhale, come up, low lunge, Anjayanasana. Anjay, Anjayanasana, Anjay. Anyways, I'm not gonna try and say skip Sanskrit because I like really can't say that word right now. Anjanae, Anjanae Asana, I said it right. <laughs> I love Sanskrit, I think it's a beautiful language. It wasn't emphasized in my yoga teacher training, clearly. Anyways. <laughs> Take the moment here to keep that, like notice where your core is. You're not dumping into your back. It's always activated here. It's always drawing up and in. Exhale your hands down to the mat. Step your left foot up to meet your right. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root your waist, come all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands meet in front of your heart in prayer. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, swan dive over your legs, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant your palms, send your left foot back. Stay. Um, keep that left knee lifted and come up for one breath. Inhale, press a lunge. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Step your right foot back to plank. Lower down halfway to chaturanga or all the way if you need another cobra. In here in chaturanga, inhale, up dog, thighs stay lifted. Open your chest and exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg rises. Stay here for a moment. Flat foot is flat. Squaring up those hips. Low belly engaged. Take an inhale, point your toe, maybe lift that leg a little higher. Exhale, shift forward, knee to nose. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, left knee, right tricep. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, left knee to chest. Hover there for a moment. Round your spine. Push the floor away as you pull that knee into your chest. Think compression. And then when you're ready, step that left foot between your palms, lower right knee. Coming up, low lunge, left foot forward. Arms are raising up overhead. I'm just adjusting my shorts here. Core is engaged. One more inhale, exhale, hands down to the mat. Step your right foot up to the top, inhale, lengthen, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach to rise all the way up. Exhale, hands down in front of your heart. Inhale, stick the arms up. Exhale, swan dive over the legs, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, lengthen. Exhale, plant your palms, step your left foot back, keep that knee lifted. Come up, crescent lunge, one breath, inhale. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Step back to plank, lower down, halfway or all the way. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, shift forward, knee to nose. 
Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, shift forward, right knee, right tricep. Hold. Hold it here. Breathe. Pulling your heel even up towards your bum. Drop your right knee down to your wrist, but not all the way to the floor. Hold. Take an inhale. Exhale, pull that right knee back up to your tricep. And then inhale, back three-legged dog. Hold here for a breath. Inhale. Exhale, shift forward to plank. Left knee to the left tricep. Hold it. Hold it. Inhale. Drop your left knee down to your wrist, but don't put the leg down. Hold it. Inhale, and then exhale, pull that knee back to your tricep, and then inhale, back three-legged dog. Exhale, pull that knee into your chest. You don't have to hold it here. Step it right through, and then come up, uh, crescent lunge. Right knee stacked right over your right ankle. Left hip pulling forward in space. You can bend that left knee if you need to keep those hips square. And then once you find that, maybe pressing that left knee as straight as you can. Take an inhale, pulling those wrists back, maybe a little baby back bend. Exhale, hands down to the mat, step your left foot up. Inhale, flat back, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach your right, come all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands in front of the heart. Inhale, flip the arms up. Exhale, swan dive over the legs, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, lengthen. Exhale, plant the palms, step your left foot back, right foot meets in plank. Lower down, chaturanga, or all the way. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, shift forward, knee to nose. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, shift forward, left knee to the left tricep, hold. Pull that knee into your butt, or that knee that heel into your butt. <laughs> Exhale, bring your knee down to your wrist. Keep that foot lifted. Take an inhale. And then on your exhale, slide that knee back up to your tricep. And then inhale, three-legged dog. Inhale, keeping it lifted. And then exhale, shift forward to plank, left knee to the right tricep, hold. Exhale, down to your wrist. Take an inhale. And on your exhale, pull that knee back up to your tricep. And then inhale, back three-legged dog. Your core on fire yet, y'all? Shift forward to plank, step the foot between your palms and come up. Crescent lunge. Find your alignment in crescent. You know where you're going. Inhale, baby back bend. Pulling those wrists back. And then exhale, hands down to the floor. Step up to the front. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to right, roll all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands down from your heart. Inhale, stick the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant your palms. Step back to plank. Lower down, chaturanga, or all the way. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And exhale, back.
downward facing dog. Inhale, come up on your tippy toes, look between your palms. Exhale, jump or step to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward fold, bring your big toes to touch, little sliver of space between your heels. Inhale, bend your knees, drop your hips, come up, chair pose. Hold your chair, sitting down in your heels, low belly's pulled in. Take one more big inhale here. Exhale, hands come through the heart center, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step or float back, and move through a vinyasa. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, pull the knee into your chest. Step the foot between your palms. Spin the left heel down. Come up, warrior one. Maybe widening the warrior one a little bit so you have some space. Since you're warrior one, shoulders and hips are pointing forward. If, you're, if your feet are in too much of a line, like you were standing on a railroad tie or something, that's not going to be easy to do. Low belly in. Inhale, gaze up at your palms. Exhale, bring the hands down. Step back to plank. Lower chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, knee to chest. Step between your palms. Right heel spins down. Come up, warrior one. Inhale, gaze up at your palms. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Step back to plank, lower down. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, up on your tippy toes, look between your palms. Exhale, float or step to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend your knees, drop your hips, come up, chair pose. Exhale it right back down, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the palms, float or step back and move through vinyasa. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, pull the knee into your chest, set the foot between your palms. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, right back down. Step back, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upper cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right left leg rises. Exhale, knee pulls through. Step between your palms. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, hands down. Step back to plank, lower down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice job. Inhale, right leg rises. We're gonna flow. Exhale, pull your knee into your chest. Set the foot between your palms. Spin your right heel down. We're coming up warrior one again here. So again, adjust your alignment so that you have space to turn the hips forward without rolling towards that inner edge of your left foot. Inhale, look up at your palms. Exhale, hands come down to your back. Clasp your hands together. Palms touch, pull your knuckles down, opening your heart here a little bit. And then exhale, bow forward to the inside of your right leg. 
humble warrior. Pull your shoulders back and down before you pull your wrists forward. And then coming back up, pull those knuckles down towards the floor, opening your, your spine. Release the grip. Reach back up for warrior one. Spin that heel up off the floor on that left leg. Now you're in crescent. Hands come into the front of your heart. And then you're gonna spin, twist, I guess not spin, but bring that left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Press your hands to the center of your sternum. Lengthen your spine, twisted crescent. Option to um, open your arms up wide, right, left fingertips to the ground, right fingertips up towards the sky. And then wherever you are, come back up to crescent, stay in your twist, and then cartwheel it open, warrior two. Fun, right? <laughs> Who's having fun? I'm having fun. Whew. I'm warm. I am warm though, for sure. Straighten that right leg. Send your hips back, reach forward. Come bringing that right hand down towards your shin, your a block, the floor, inside or outside your right foot. Triangle pose of your choice. Gazing up at your left thumb. Reach that left arm up overhead, bicep frame to your ear, and then turn to the right. Set your left foot, left hand down. Rebend that right leg. Plant both your palms. Lift your right foot. Hold that knee into your chest. And then shift back. Three-legged dog, right leg rises. Come forward to play. Shift forward to play. Keep that right leg lifted. Lower down, chaturanga. At the bottom, set that right leg down. Inhale, upward facing or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, pull that knee through. Step the foot between your palms. Spin your right heel down. Coming up, warrior one. Left leg forward. Inhale, gaze up at your palms. Exhale, the hands down behind your back. Clasp your fingers, press your palms. Knuckles pulling down towards the floor. And then bow forward inside your left leg. Humble warrior. Coming back up to warrior one. Inhale your arms up, spinning that um, heel off the floor on the back leg. Now you're in crescent. Bring your hands down in front of your heart. Bow forward and twisting from the navel. Hook that right elbow on the outside of your left knee. And we're in a crescent twist. Option to split your arms, right fingertips to the floor, left fingertips up, up towards the sky, deepening that twist, opening your chest. Wherever you are, staying in that twist, come up in that twist and then cartwheel your hands, opening up warrior two, spinning that right heel back down, arms are wide, gazing out of that left middle finger.
Straighten that left leg, send your hips back, reach forward with that left hand, and coming down into triangle pose. And if you can, gaze up at that right thumb. Collarbones are wide, shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, right arm over right ear. Turn to face your left leg. Plant your palm, framing that left foot. Rebend that left knee. Plant your palms. Nice, tight core. Lift your left foot, but keep your knee tucked in. And then shift back, inhale, three-legged dog, left leg rises. <laughs> Come forward to plank, leave that left leg up. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Set the foot down, inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down facing dog. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, knee to chest. Step the foot between your palms. Come up right into crescent. Bow forward to about 45 degree angle. Maybe pop that left foot up a little bit. And then springing up, warrior three. Left leg is lifted. I'm going to put my hands in prayer just because I'm hitting my desk, but hands can be overhead or at heart center. The focus is on pulling that low belly up and in, squaring those hips, pulling those shoulder heads away. Rebend that right leg, set your right foot down, spinning, left foot down, spinning the heel and open it up, warrior two. Flip your right palm over, reach it forward. Inhale, peaceful warrior. And then cartwheel the hands right back down. Stepping your, um, not planting your palm. Lifting that left heel. Lift your right foot, keep that knee tucked. Then inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, shift forward to plank. Lower chaturanga. Set the foot down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, knee to chest. Step the foot down. Coming up, crescent lunge. Bowing forward, 45 degrees. Pop that right foot in if you need to. Hands can be in prayer or overhead. Springing up onto that left leg. Woo, wobbles. Uh, warrior three. Did I say warrior three on that last one or did I say warrior two and confuse the heck out of y'all? Sorry. This is warrior three, everybody. <laughs> it's late. <laughs> nice, strong focus. Rebend that left knee. Set the right foot down. Spin the heel down. Open arms wide, warrior two. Flip that left palm over, reach forward, arch it back, peaceful warrior. And then cartwheel the hands down to the floor, coming up onto the right toes. Lift the left foot, hug that knee in. Then inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, forward to plank, lower chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing. Shifting forward to plank. Lower all the way down to your belly. Oh, we're on the floor, guys. <laughs> we are going to work in locust for this solar plexus chakra practice today. So we're not focusing as much on opening the heart, but grounding down that solar plexus. So, reach your arms out long. Fingertips reaching towards your feet. And when you inhale, lift your chest with your back muscles and then lift your toes. 
Keep your gaze down at the mat, not up, because you want to, don't want to crunch your neck. Just keep reaching those shoulder blades back, fingertips back, energy through your toes, and breathe. And then exhale, release. Put your right cheek on the mat, bend your knees, and windshield wiper your legs side to side. And then find some stillness. Re extend those legs. Looking down at the floor, reaching those fingertips back. Another locust pose. Inhale, lift the gate, lift the chest, lift the legs. Breathe. How high can you lift those legs? How high can you lift those that chest? And then exhale it back down, left cheek on the floor, bend your knees and windshield wiper, legs side to side. And then last time we're going to do this, you are always have the option to do what we've done three times. Another one more, one more locust, make it your best one. If you'd like to take it a little deeper in upward facing bow, bend your knees towards your hips. Take a hold of your ankles below your feet, below your feet, above your feet. It depends on which way you're standing. Flex your feet hard, bring your knees in towards each other. As you inhale, kick like heck into your hands to bring your chest up. Try to keep those thighs down on the floor. Pulling those shoulder blades back and up. Gaze again. Maybe can be a little further out, but try not to crunch and look up. Keep kicking. Or if you're in locust, <laughs> keep lifting. And when you're ready to come out, gently lower your chest and release your legs. Bring your hands under your forehead. And then Create a little pillow for yourself here. We're going to do one more thing. This isn't really a yoga thing. It's more of a Pilates thing, but I like it. So we're going to do it. <laughs> so what I want you to do is bring your knees wide and heels together. We can be flexed, keeping your head down. What you're going to do is you're going to kind of engage your core, wrap your transverse abdominis around, lift your pelvic floor, lift that low belly up off the floor. Once you do that, then keeping that there, try and lift your legs up off the floor. Maybe they lift an inch, but you don't lose that core. You're working your glutes here, but we're trying to activate the glutes without losing that core activation. So when you're ready, squeeze your heels together, activate your core, pull that low belly in, almost like you're trying to peel your low belly up off the floor, keeping that there, lift the legs and put them down. Inhale, exhale, engage your core and lift, lower down. Take a breath. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Engage that core, wrapping and lifting, and then holding all that there. Lift those legs up and lower them back down. So good booty workout, but also just a good thing to just practice. Um, I've been doing a little Pilates here <laughs> because that's just fun to do some other things. So we are going to make our way onto our backs. Bringing both knees into your chest. 
maybe rocking back and forth, giving yourself a nice massage. And then keeping your right leg there, send your left leg out long. Pulling your left, right knee over to the left, right arm stretches over like a T, and then just a nice gentle supine twist. Starting to bring it down a little bit. I'm just remembering I wanted to do boat for some more core, but we'll wait. <laughs> I'll make you guys do boat next week, maybe. I'll have to remember that. Switch legs, bring your left knee up into your chest, pull that knee into your chest, and then twisting the leg over to the right, looking over towards the left. Oh, yeah. And then coming back into center. Go ahead and stretch both legs out long. Finding your Shavasana here. So legs out long. Allow your feet to relax. Hips relax. Hands down by your sides. Shoulders away from your ears. Option to place one hand on your belly and one hand on your heart. As a gesture of gratitude calming the body. Start to bring awareness back to your breath. Not necessarily change it, but just notice how your body rises and falls as your breath comes in and out of your body. Start to find small motions with your fingers and toes, maybe circling your ankles, your wrists, bringing movement back into your body. 
And after our final resting pose. <laughs> Bend your knees up and pull your knees into your chest one more time. Give yourself a big, big squeeze. Pull your, if you want a big stretch, pull your forehead towards your knees. And then squeeze every muscle you can, trying to tighten everything. One more big squeeze, 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 even the muscles in your face. And then exhale, let it go. Stretch your arms up overhead, let it out long. See how tall you can grow. And then last time, bring those knees into your chest. Roll onto your right side, making a little pillow with your bicep. Pause in this fetal position for just a moment. And then when you're ready, press yourself up to a seated position. Find a comfortable seat, cross-legged, or maybe you prefer a different seat. But wherever you are, find length in your spine. Find a gentleness in your face, softening, soften in your shoulders. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, hands in front of the heart. Tuck your chin just as slightly to Bow your head in a, in a gesture of gratitude. Gratitude for this time you took for yourself. Gratitude for what your body can do for you. Press your thumbs into your third eye. Take a moment to remember your intention that you set for yourself at the beginning of practice and ingrain that intention into your mind to practice it throughout the rest of your day or however long it takes you to achieve it. The light in me sees and honors the light in each and every one of you. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Um, if you feel so inclined, um, hit the like button on this video. Um, if you feel so inclined, subscribe so that you can get notifications anytime I post a new one. And if you feel so inclined, please share with anybody you think might benefit from this channel. I thank you guys so much and I can't wait for the next video. Have a wonderful rest of your day.